Hello, Terry. It's Friday. Let me say that again. It's Friday. I'm Quan. And I'm J-Mo, and you're watching THS TV. Yes, our athletes will be busy tonight. Yes, they will. The Lady Ranger soccer team is playing Stafford tonight here on Ranger Gym. Ranger yeah. Field, sorry. JV plays at 5, and the varsity plays at 7. The girls' basketball team is taking on Calhoun tonight. JV and Freshman play at 5, and the varsity team plays at 6.30. The boys take a long bus ride down to Calhoun tonight. JV teams play at 4.30 and 5.30, and the varsity team plays at 7. Well, Quan, what's the word of the day today? Well, the word of the day is diverse. This means deferring one from another. Let's get happy here. Who's celebrating birthdays? Well, today, happy birthday to Annabelle M., Celeste Castillo, Hazen Muhammad, Kira D., Marquise Vincent, Pablo De La Garza, Saron Nagash, and Tristan Rojas. Happy Saturday birthdays to Brianna Ramon, Carmen Cruz, Darcy Herrera, and Miranda Escobedo. Happy Sunday birthdays to Brian Platero, Dominique Munoz, Eric Lopez, Lila B., Lauren Creech, Michaela Hart, and Triana Dotson. So, Quan, what are we celebrating today? Today is National Croissant Day. Isn't that some kind of roll? Oh, yeah, it's one of them thick, buttery rolls, and they're really good. I bet. In fact, you can get free croissants all day today at La Madeline because it's free croissant day. I wish it was give my teachers give me an A day. For real, we're creep dreaming, dude, because it's not going to happen. Okay, here's our thought of the day. It comes from Albert Einstein. A person who has never made a mistake, never tried anything new. Hey, Quan, do you need to take the SAT test? Of course I do, bro, and I'm like, I'm really nervous about it. Well, there's practice tests you can take for free. The next one is February 7th at the University Branch Library in the Missouri City Branch Library. You have to make a reservation on the court, on the Fort Bend County Library's website. j -Mo, I heard that studies have shown that the more you take the standardized test, the better you get at it. So take advantage of this free opportunity. Just talking about the test makes me go crazy. Tell me something fun to look forward to this weekend, Quan. Well, j -Mo, if you're willing to drive into Houston, there's a free movie tonight at Discovery Green. It's the Oz, the Great and Powerful movie starts at 7.30. Bring a blanket and lawn chair. Over in Katy, there's a free concert benefiting the Cancer Foundation. There's going to be lots of local bands. Come to Central Green Park on Cinco Ranch Boulevard at 7. Bring canned goods to help the food and bake. That is tonight. On Saturday, some of the Houston museums are going to have free admission. Check the website and see some spectacular exhibits for free. You can also go see the opera for free on Saturday. There's two free performances. The HCC Downtown Campus. Check their website. Cast Theatrical in Downtown Rosenberg is presenting the Cemetery Club at 8 p.m. Fridays and Saturdays. Call 832-889-3808 for reservations or just visit their website. As far as the weather has gone, we've had a gorgeous few days. Unfortunately, the weekend will not be the same. Dang, dude. There's a chance of rain on Saturday and a 70% chance on Sunday. When we come back to school on Monday, it's clear skies. Figures. <laughs> I know it, dude. I know. We need some cheering up after finding out the, it's going to be raining this weekend. What about a joke for the day? Nah, J-Mo. We, we don't need to do that. Well, just check it out. Check it out. Why are frogs so happy? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> because they eat whatever bugs them. <laughs> bro, <laughs> where do we get these lousy jokes from, bro? You gotta admit, they're pretty dumb, dude. They're pretty dumb. Yeah. In wrestling, the Rangers traveled to downtown Houston last night to face on the Knights of Esco High School. The Rangers dominated the middleweights before steadily losing ground in the upperweights. The scrappy Rangers build up a team score of 27-3 to before finally falling 45-27. to Picking up wins for the Rangers were Cole Yenis at 126 pounds, Matthew Williams at 132 pounds, Isaiah Allen at 152 pounds, Chance McAfee and Jeffrey Laundrie pick up a forfeit win. Matthew Williams picked up the upset of the night by pinning a returning private school state runner-up for the JV. Samuel S. was the lone winner. This was the final tune-up before District for the Rangers. The Rangers will be back in action next Thursday at George Ranch for the District Tournament. If Good there, luck. Sorry. If there was money laying on the ground, would you pick it up, Corn? Of course. What if it was $1,000? Would you pick that up, too? Pick it up and run with it. I see you. Then, seniors, if you haven't filled out an application for a scholarship, then you might as well just leave that money on the ground for somebody else like him to pick it up. Yeah, like me. <laughs> 
The Fort Bend County Fair Scholarship must be post-market right now. Come by the college room today and talk to Ms. Parker or Ms. Phillips. There's about three scholarships with the due date of this weekend. Come on, you don't want to leave, leave that money on the ground. Why would you not fill out a scholarship form? Why, dude? I don't know why they won't. There's a big event this weekend. I know you're not going to miss it, J-Mo. Well, what is that, dude? It's the Super Bowl, and we all know the Patriots are going to win. Yeah, you're right about that. No, uh-uh. No way. Seahawks. Seahawks. What? Seahawks. Bet, bet five. Bet, bet five. Bet. I got five on it. Man, we can argue all day, but we'll see who's going to come with that money on Monday morning. And with that, Rangers, see ya. we're out of here. Stay safe. Miss Adam. And go for the Patriots. Go for the Patriots. Stay breezy, y'all. Patriots. Seahawks.